I'm Rick Howard, president of Kingdom Magic Vacations. In my job, I get to travel a lot. I explore the world on land and sea, eating in unique restaurants, and discovering interesting locations. I'm always looking for new places to visit, and I want you to travel with me. Welcome to Travel with Rick. Well, hey everybody, how you guys doing? We're still here on the Disney Wonder right outside the Walt Disney Theater. It feels like we haven't left. Yeah, yeah, this has like been our home for like the last week and we're only halfway done. Not well, even halfway done yet. Deja vu, I think I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, uh, it's crazy being on the ship um, this long and still having this much to look forward to. You know when we in Hawaii, <laughs> we still have five sea days That's right. to get back home. Mm -hmm. It's just an incredible cruise. Well, we've got, uh, we will tell you all about our day on Maui, um, our second port in Hawaii was the port of Maui, and we want to tell you about that. Um, the Hale Akala Crater and Caldera, 9,200 feet above sea level. That's right, it was uh, gorgeous. It, was, it took us a while to get up there in a bus, but we were able to see the countryside, beautiful Hawaiian homes, you know, built into the hillside there. Um, it's actually a, a national park, yeah. part of the, the National Park Services, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. You get up there and just huge volcanic crater yeah it's absolutely great to see see the rest of the island and see the caldera it's fantastic and the clouds i mean we were yeah. up above the that's clouds, right man. <laughs> you know so it was like us and the clouds you yep. know down here. that was pretty wild it you know? was going up through the clouds was pretty trippy too kind of like you know when you take off in a plane and you kind of make that Go make that breakthrough right so we did it the bus yeah, yeah tons of switchbacks we, you know we, we took a bus up through the clouds which was pretty pretty sweet um, and that crater like Andrew said was just incredible mm -hmm. to see you know and to see how you know the earth was shaped of that and our little hike up there um, posted a few pictures on on Facebook on Facebook uh, from the caldera while we were up there. Pretty good internet connection up there man, on my phone, you know, that was sweet. Um, yeah, so uh, so did that. Um, then we uh, came back down through sugarcane and pineapple, sugarcane fields and pineapple plantations and mm -hmm. stuff. Got to Learn see uh, yeah, actually pineapple plants growing uh, and like you said, sugarcane as well. So it was great to see some of the culture. Get, so I see a lot of cows and horses too. Yeah. We learned some know, new Hawaiian so. words, you know. Yeah. Bee -bee, pee or cows. Yep, you know? that's right. Saw some Hawaiian cowboys and went through a little Hawaiian cowboy town. That's right. <laughs> they actually had like a, uh, like a store for you know, hard, horse hardware and tack. It was great. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. Took it back a little bit. Uh, then after that, we got back to the ship. We had some time left in Maui, so we took a stroll up a Maui beach. Mm -hmm. Just Andrew and I. That's know, right. Just kind of went walking right off the ship and, and right up the beach. Saw some sea turtles. That's uh, right. Feeding right there near the rocks. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of like the... six or yeah. eight turtles mm -hmm. there. It's pretty cool. A lot of wind surfers and oh, kite surfers. It was very windy, so yeah. I mean, there was more kite surfers there in one place than I'd ever seen anywhere else yeah. in Florida. It was incredible. Yeah. Uh, so, lots of lots of activity on those beaches. It was great, an absolutely gorgeous beach. Yeah, it was, and different beaches. The sand was a different consistency than I'm used to in Florida. It kind of sunk down really. That's deep right. There. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't packed very yeah, much, you know. Uh, so when you, I mean, it was almost like stepping in snow, yeah, you know, yeah. almost, you know, so. Yeah, the water was a little cold. Yeah. The water's a little cold. It was a little chilly. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, but uh, just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous, you know, to, uh, to take a Disney Wonder cruise and end up on a beach in Maui. Dude, I don't think it gets any better than that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. So, um, got back. Had dinner at Animator's Palette. No show tonight, so just a regular restaurant. Yeah, yeah. We had some prime rib. I think that's the biggest piece of prime rib I've ever <laughs> seen. It was nice. Yeah, Fred Flintstone nice. type prime rib. <laughs> that's know? right. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Somebody killed a dinosaur for this stuff. Right. Um, Uncle Ido explained Mahalo. That's right. That yeah. was something you attended with him. That's that's right. Tell everybody uh, who Uncle Ido is. Uncle Ido is he's one of the entertainers and storytellers at Aulani in, uh, in uh, on the on the island of uh, I can't remember the Oahu? name. Oahu. Oahu. That's yeah. right. Where Koalina. is and yeah. Koalina is, Koalina is the, is where I guess the town. Is. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And uh, he does a, a great job of storytelling over there. And he's been on the ship with us ever since we left LA doing some storytelling and uh, entertainment, playing. He can play the uh, conch shell, he can blow a conch shell pretty loud. 
Uh, but yeah, this evening he was telling us about Mahalo and what Mahalo means and how a uh, greeting of this. So I got some video for you guys to, to watch on that. The Hawaiian word for thank you is, of course, Mahalo. Mahalo, indeed. Well, the concept of Mahalo goes much deeper than just that. It is a deep respect and gratitude and appreciation for all that a person or place or indeed even a ship can be. And we're at from Enolani. We have a simple way to give and receive Mahalo. And it goes as such. Mahalo. Mahalo. It, I'm going to teach you folks this. This is going to be the only one that Uncle teaches. Now this, the gesture starts right here. Right around your pico. Your pico is your belly button. And in Hawaiian culture, your pico is the center of your being. Indeed, right there is your na'al. Loosely translates to English, it means guts. <laughs> but indeed, in the modern Western concept, we think of our kubai, we think of our hearts. But that's the most important thing. That's where our emotions come from. But when you do something wrong, where do you feel it? You feel it in your belly. And when something rings true, it starts right there as well. So indeed, ancient Hawaiians had something going on there. And indeed, I still think of when things are polo, when things are just, when things are right, when things are not. You feel it right there in your na'al. Hold feeling mind. Repeat after me, na'al. 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 Go ahead. Na That's all yours. Your center right there. And the gesture starts, you have your open palm, you have your fist down, like that. From your na'al, because Thank indeed, mahalo mm -hmm. starts right in the center there. And you move it up to your mouth. And in your mouth, you say, ha, the breath of life that we give. When we give that ha, we give it to each other. We share, indeed, the universe together in that breath. You all know, sometimes see a uh, traditional Hawaiian greeting, common throughout Polynesia, is ahoni, where two individuals were touch their foreheads and their noses together. And what you don't see is that you breathe in through your nose. Literally, you're sharing that ha, that air. And of course, ha is part of the word aloha. As we share the air, we share the world, we share our essence of life with each other. So, ma, ha, the law as we extend it to you. So let's try it together, let's try it together. Ma, ha, And then again, you can receive it from someone as well. Ma, ha, And right back there to your center. Just real friendly. Him and his whole team that have come up from Alani, they're great entertainers. Absolutely. I've just been a blast to spend some time with and see them. Um, and speaking of the team, it's Tahati. Mm -hmm. um, they performed tonight. They did, yep. Yeah. They had a whole band up there on the pool deck and uh, doing a little hula party uh, because it is their last night on board. Tomorrow we're going to arrive in Oahu and they're going to be getting off and going back over to work at Aulani. So uh, they were having a little party, uh, saying goodbye to everyone. So it was, uh, it was a great little show that they put on.
Yeah, and then in my notes uh, for today, I uh, I put that I went to bed early <laughs> because we go to early day in Honolulu. Yeah, I actually make right. port in Honolulu tomorrow, which is on the island of, of Oahu, the same island that Alani is on. A lot of people are planning on going over to uh, Alani. I wish we were, but we're not. Um, but we do have a big day planned Full day, on Honolulu right. for you and uh, for us. And, we're taking you along with us, of course. Of course, I mean, you've been with us this long. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to take you to Honolulu. So uh, definitely don't miss it tomorrow. Tell your friends. Bring some friends to Honolulu tomorrow. And uh, you want to want to give them a little sneak preview where we're going tomorrow? Oh, that's right. We're going to the Arizona Memorial. Yeah. Uh, seeing some downtown Honolulu. So it's going to be great. Yeah. Hawaii Five-0 right here on Travel with Rick. Don't miss it. We'll be here. Hope you'll be here too. We'll see you right back tomorrow. So long, everybody.